Today let's discuss a very interesting topic in Power Apps that is converting a combo box control into people picker field, right? Whereas people picker field is nothing but uh, you will get an option to loop in or uh, uh, look up into your organization existing users and select one of them to perform uh, further operations, right? So many of us get this requirement uh, generally like whenever we're performing a CRUD operations Whereas uh, saving our data into backend databases, right? We end up using form controls or gallery controls, right? Uh, whereas when it comes to form on form controls, we we'll use generally the form control as a you know uh, we use the edit modes like form modes of the form controls to create and update the items or a view as well as view and uh, editing them, right? At the same time. And uh, generally, like uh, for other gallery controls, we use collections and uh, at, the, uh, at the end, we'll add a button control like a submit button. Whereas uh, we are patching, we'll loop everything and uh, we'll patch all the data into our backend data source, correct? So for at some point of time, uh, we'll be in need, right? You know, customers or client will have a requirement to look up to their existing users present in the organization, right? That means they want uh, a people pick a field in their form controls or gallery, right? To select and add them. So currently like uh, in our, uh, you know, available controls in Power Apps, we do have multiple controls, but whereas combo box is the only one which can act, act as a people picker field, okay? So let's uh, navigate and see how we can use combo box control as a people picker field, okay? So if you can see my screen, uh, I have created a, just a sample application that says combo box. Okay. And this is my screen. Now I'm going ahead and inserting my control that is combo box control. So my control is available right here. Okay. And now uh, we need a data source for this. That is, we generally use Office 365 users, right? So that data source, we need to have it added in our application. Okay, that is here, Office 365 users. So I'm adding this into my application to make this control as a people pickle field okay and now now what will be my other step will be editing the items property okay so as you can see in the items property i'm gonna use the connector function right the connector which i recently added that is office 365 users right now in this if you see there's an one option called office 365 users dot search user right so for people picker field what is the operation we perform we'll gonna search our existing users present in the organization correct so now that says dot search user and i'm gonna open the curly brackets as it's guiding me right there so our next thing will be search term so i'm gonna say search term now what we need to add next is whatever we're gonna type here that should get searched correct so our next item should be combo box one that is my combo box name which i added here that is combo box one dot i'm gonna say search text okay so this is gonna be my items property okay now there are two other main factors which we need to know and have it enabled before we're gonna use this uh, formula right first thing we're gonna go to the allow searching property of this so as you all know our combo box do, does have two different options that is allow multi-select and also allow searching that's right so now we need this as a people pickle that means we need something to be written and it will go ahead in the organization library and it will search for that user correct so for that allow searching should be turned on for this combo box okay other the other thing is the layout okay so currently if you see my combo box is nothing but having fields right it says single field okay 
now we can change it to double and we can change it to person this is nothing but the layouts of this combo box showing the results right so we can show the person name as well or uh, also the email as well as the photo if you select this person or in the double we can show primary text secondary text and the search field okay so now i'm gonna give primary text as display name secondary text as email okay and search field again i'll give us display name okay so now our layout has been set and we can use layout based on our needs just difference between person and double is nothing but it will also also show the person uh, photo here single will show only the single uh, search item that is either the display name or the email based on our selection right now i'm gonna play this to see whether it works fine or not okay as you can see in the drop down as soon as i hit this it's searching wizard power apps correct because in my tenant there is only one user that is available that is wizard power apps okay so you can just search it and you can select that specific user if you have multiple users available in your environment or in your organization you can add more and keep selecting them and reuse for your further operating operations okay so now i just want to give one more thing about the layout thing you just wanted to have a, a person okay what does person do i'm just gonna play this and wizard okay so now as you can see it doesn't display me anything because i don't have a picture of available in my tenant currently but generally when you select the picture along with our uh, name display name and the uh, email it will also show a photo here whenever you're searching something before selecting okay so well guys uh, that's all about it like how i guess you are all aware now how to convert a combo box into a paper picker field right and if you want to know more about the formula i'm gonna add it into, into uh, my description you can just copy the formula from there and reuse in your application and uh, go ahead further for your uh, further operations of the applications right well thank you so much keep watching my channel